U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley has made overhauling peacekeeping operations one of her top priorities at the United Nations. Many diplomats are afraid that means losing U.S. funds for the U.N.'s 16 missions around the world. But at a recent Security Council briefing, Haley said the goal is improving the U.N.'s effectiveness. Experience shows that funding is no guarantee for success. I also recognize that there are those who say this initiative represents a withdrawal of the United States from the global stage. Nothing could be farther from the truth. The United States will continue to lead, both here at the UN and out in the real world. Part of leadership is knowing when something needs to be fixed. The Trump administration believes the UN takes too much U.S. money for peacekeeping and doesn't spend it wisely. The current UN peacekeeping budget is $7.87 billion. Each country contributes money based on the size of its economy. The U.S. contributes more than 28 percent of the total peacekeeping budget, but Haley has argued that's too much. She wants it cut to 25 percent. The U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres agrees on the need for reform, but added this. These partnerships must be based on solid, predictable funding. And I hope the Council will consider supporting missions that are backed by a Council resolution and done by our partners, either with assessed contributions or by promoting other predictable financing mechanisms. Analysts say money isn't the only problem facing UN peacekeeping, and it's up to the new peacekeeping chief, Jean-Pierre Lacroix, to show the U.S. he's going to fix them. He has to focus on the endemic problems of sexual abuse and corruption in UN peacekeeping because even though he can't solve those overnight, they do such damage to this organization and they need to be addressed head on. Lacroix recently visited South Sudan with his predecessor, Hervé Latsou. The security situation there is deteriorating and the U.S. questions whether the conditions there are right for UN peacekeepers. Lacroix must now convince Washington to give him both the time and the money to show that this and other UN peacekeeping missions are in fact a good investment. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.